All right, so here's an example of recording with the Echo Smart Pen. I have my Echo example notebook here. I label it to keep them straight. And then I'm going to touch record, make my mark, let my son talk here. Hello, my name's Gavin and I like Legos. And then hit stop. Then I'm going to transfer it over to my computer using the cord that is needed to do that on the Echo. So I'm going to take the cord and plug that into the computer. Now you'll notice that I have the pen here and it has that different icon on the OLED saying that it is transferring and then it's hooked up USB on the side of my computer here. The cord plugs in. When you're plugging that in you need to be careful you use the correct side and you don't try to push it in upside down otherwise you can break the piece inside there like I have done and now we're going to go over to the desktop and we will find that. So here we are in the LiveScribe desktop software. I clicked on this icon at the bottom here and this software came up and you notice that this is the pen. I'm using the 4 gigabyte Greg 2013 pen and I click here and I can see all my notebooks. I know it's in my example notebook and it's on page 17. So then I click on that and I can hear it. And this is how it transfers over. Mark, let my son talk here. Hello, my name's Gavin and I like Legos. The other option avail that is available is to store it on your jump drive, however you want to do that. You can take it, just take this document that you want hovered over computer and let go and I've and it, I want a pencast PDF and I want the all of everyone on there so I say send to computer and it's processing it now and then it's going to show up on my desktop and now it says that it's completed successfully and you'll notice now that I have this other option here I'm going to name its example page 17 hit save and now you'll see it just showed up there on my desktop and I can double click on that and it's a PDF as long as I use PDF reader it will be an active document and I can store it in whatever my mark I can store it however I want wherever I want so that's a nice feature and you can change those and email them to people and do whatever you want with them that way